Hey guys, Silent Cell here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So it's been a while since I uploaded a video for Pokemon Cafe Mix because, well, I've been sick for the last past eight days up to Chinese New Year. So if you guys are Chinese and are celebrating the Lunar New Year, Sing Yang Kuai Le to you guys. And of course, um, for you guys who have been following me on my YouTube Facebook page and have been wishing me well, during my eight days of illness, I I love you guys so much. I I cannot say how much I appreciate all the care and concern and the patience um, due to my sickness that I've not been able to put out videos for you guys. And finally, now that I'm well enough to make videos, let's get down to it. And yes, if you guys have been playing Pokemon Cafe Mix religiously, you know that I completely missed out on the um well, the reappearance of. Terra, and now we are back with Snorlax's raid event with the group. So if you guys have actually attained Snorlax before, um, this is just your chance to power up Snorlax even further, and of course to gain those yummy Snorlax uh, cupcakes that can actually help you further improve Snorlax's um, Pokemon level. So yes, let's get down to it. We don't need to read all this. this because we've already gone through all this before, so let's just dive down into the game right after I skip all this long-winded text. <laughs> so yeah, so how have, how have you guys been? Hopefully you guys have been busy playing the game. Um, so if you guys have not um, caught up with all the episodes that have released so far, we have already gone through that, you know, the developers for Pokemon Cafe Mix have decided to reduce the amount of release stages or orders basically um, after a certain um, you know date and yeah so right now we are still going through the regular 50 orders release um, eventually they will change it to 30 you know if you guys want to check up on all the features and all that it's all here go ahead and read it and of course um, you know once they release um, the, the new update to reduce the amount of orders um, it's going to be a lot easier to start catching up with you know the amount of stages uh, that are currently present within the game and we can finally um, you know put out videos that people want to watch just to clear those levels <laughs> if they have not gone too far ahead um, like I myself am on my Nintendo Switch account so yes Snorlax is back, and of course, the team order pack with the Pikachu wearing the Snorlax costume is, is back as well. Um, if you guys have missed out on purchasing it before, uh, I myself have not bought a single one of these costumes because you know, I'm, I'm a free-to-play player and I enjoy the game as it is. So yes, I, I wonder how the team is doing. I don't think anyone is. Yeah, you can tell because it's a reissue event. Not many, not many people are actually grinding for Snorlax, or maybe because well, the the members in this team are not as active anymore. So I might consider joining another group later on. But you know, considering that I've already unlocked Snorlax before, I might not leave the group as well. I'm just gonna play this casually like I always do. So let's start off as usual with. You know, the invitations, and since we have two Pokemon here that have not been leveled up to level 2 yet, let's just go with these guys. You know, it's always it's always better to have you know Pokemon that have not been unlocked or have not been recruited as a cafe staff. Uh, but since we already have two Pokemon that could be leveled up almost close to level 2, so why not just go with this and not risk the refresh factor? Okay, let's see. So this level isn't exactly very difficult. Um, we go Squirtle first, since there's quite a few of his icons around. Of course, we want to try and cover as many of the marshmallows as possible. There we go. We're gonna go with more Squirtles right here. Okay, so there are two marshmallows that are not destroyed yet. So. We're just going to leave them for now because we still do need to, um, you know, gain more skill icons around the board. And of course, we need to get rid of the pumpkins. That's also another problem. 
So let's push this pumpkin in so we can you know, target all of them. There we go. Alright, let's go with Snubbles icon because there's just a lot of them right now. There we go. And we'll clear Squirtle to get another skill. At the same time, let's get rid of the two marshmallows. There we go. So, oh, I just realized that we only have one move left. So we're going to do this. We're going to push the pumpkins up if possible. Oh no. <laughs> uh, and I miss the chance of destroying the pumpkins with the chocolates. Uh, oh well. So I'm going to use the 900 acorns here. Technically, you don't have to you know, use a, a 900 redeem. Um, basically because you could put a stage where on a first try as well. Maybe you might not have enough um, extra moves available at the end, but still. Just gotta be careful. Okay, so we do have um, megaphones that are more than enough to clear all the requested. So just gotta be careful with the placement and we are good to go. So yeah. And of course, you know, being that it's the first party invite, you can just use the amount of hearts uh, waiting to be used, you know, instead of just spending 900 acorns. It's just so wasteful if you actually do that. So yeah. Okay, so second one isn't exactly difficult as well. It's just that it requires some pinpoint positioning with the skill. And of course, um, you know, if you can cover as many of the strawberry baskets you know that will be fantastic uh and of course we do need to power up Minchino's skill as well um for the long long range destruction capabilities there we go so we're gonna go here we're gonna cover a tree lane if possible there we go very sensitive on the shifting Okay, we do need another powered up Michino skill. So let's let's just gather all the icons and we do need to pay attention to the score requirement as well. So here we go, let's gather all the Michinos to get that score. Fantastic. And this should clear everything. Clearing a few extra icons to you know fully clear that score requirement. So yes, very very careful on this level uh, if it does appear for you as well. There we go, adding the required star, although it's still a bit of a ways to getting them to level 2. And let's unlock the first reward on Snorlax. Fantastic. And just like that, we are actually creeping up <laughs> in fourth place. So that's, that's kind of a sad situation <laughs> considering how, how active people are playing the repeated events. Alright, so let's move along with the regular 10 orders. Um, first one being for Jigglypuff and going with the Executor. Alright. So this one is a bit tricky because um, it requires you to technically set free all the items at the same time and you know there is the problem with the pumpkin as well and we do need to power up you know Executor's ability so we can get that full range coverage. There we go, so let's get the pumpkin down. So yep, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna set free this popcorn kernel as well. Let's gather the executors to get that skill going. Okay, we do need to power up executor skill once more. There we go. Lots of Lucario, so let's make use of him. And with this, we are good to go. So, not a very difficult stage as long as you, you know, are able to power up Executor's skill with the minimal effort. 
fantastic. Alright, everyone's looking happy with their ice cream soda. I would like one myself, you know, considering that I've been sick for the last eight days and I've been eating like warm, healthy food. I would like to <laughs> finally be able to ingest some junk food as well. <laughs> so yes, guys, I have that craving that needs to be, you know, dealt with. Okay, so this one, this one is a bit tricky. Um considering that there's marshmallows and then you know timing and all that kind of stuff lucario skill is also a bit of a problem um if you really want to cover the range you would need to power it up but the main thing here right now is to really try and unlock everything from the ice chambers that they're in and of course if you have the time and skill to you know mix up the ingredients oh i actually completed all the okay all right so let me cover up all the marshmallows that are mostly lighted up okay let's get more lucario icons there we go we have them all covered yep so it's only one more ketchup bottle and we do need the score so let's go ahead and gather all the icons on the field go all right fantastic so no need to use an extra skill to clear things up and two moves remaining which means more acorns Okay, we're doing pretty good so far except for the very first invitational stage <laughs> but you know for the convenience sake of shortening the videos you know we have to go through the lazy route all right so Wabafat is the main pokemon this time round we do want to surround as many strawberry baskets as possible there we go Okay, let's use Wabafet's powered up skill to benefit us because it does change a majority of the icons to you know the majority of the icons on the field. <laughs> okay, there we go. So let's gather all the plusos. Fantastic. Seems like we're doing pretty good on the destruction of the um, strawberry baskets and the chestnuts as well. Okay, there we go. Hopefully the RNG does help us a bit. In fact, it helps us a lot. Okay, that was fantastic. Alright, so we do need a lot of icons for score and we need a skill for that megaphone requirement as well. We don't have to power up, power up Wabafet's skill anymore. Um, so yeah, cause considering that even if it's powered up, the amount of megaphones summoned is exactly the same amount. So yeah, so just use it as its pre-evolved version of the skill, and you should be fine. Okay, moving along, Togepi. Ooh. Okay, so there are two baskets on two rows, so that's going to help us out. But the problem is the leaves are technically kind of covered in gum. Okay, maybe let's just clear out the, the ones here first. Oh, I missed out on one because it was too far away, but that's okay. We push it in, there we go, it's in. Alright, so let's gather the rest and destroy a few more caramels. Okay, let's clear out the gum on these leaves first. And all the caramel are cleared. So we do need to fulfill that Jigglypuff requirement as well. 
So we're gonna go do that in just a short moment after we clear this leaf. There we go. And let's gather all the Jigglypuffs that are on the field right now. More than enough. Fantastic. We could have ended a lot faster if we were a bit luckier in placements of the destruction. But still. A clear is a clear. Extra acorns are always welcome. Alright, Weasel, let's go. So we're having a very smooth clearing of the levels so far. I shouldn't be saying that because I might end up jinxing myself, but you know, it's always nice to appreciate um, you know, smooth clearing. Alright, so main main point for this level is to you know um, cover the vegetable baskets if possible. Um, we do technically need to power up um, Swebo's skill because the, the... Yeah, look at that. So like the fruit cans are kind of in the position that requires the power up. Okay. Okay, so vegetables are kind of important right now, including the score. So we do need to clear the sugar cubes. Okay, all of them just need one more destruction. There we go. Fantastic. Don't always rely on skills, um, you know, if they don't really convenience you. Uh, like, Weasel skill does have some kind of uh, width restriction, so yeah, play smart. Sometimes icons is actually the better choice. <laughs> okay, Munchlax is happy, wants to be our friend, which means more stars for us and more snacks for Snorlax. Fantastic, okay, let's keep this going. Hondino. I love to use these Pokemon skills where they just summon a whole bunch of megaphones. It's just very satisfying. Oh, I kind of missed out on touching the cheese. But, uh. Okay, here we go. Alright, we're kind of slow in the destruction on the cheese. That's kind of a bad thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, the RNG is horrible. <laughs> oh no, is this the first level where we actually need to um, retry? Oh, we could have used the megaphone. Oh, I'm so silly. Why didn't I use the megaphone? Well, technically we should be destroying the olives because, you know, once they start quoting everything, it's gonna be very annoying. So let's, let's try and destroy the olives. No. So now it's time for the megaphones. Hopefully the megaphones will help us to destroy the olives at the same time. Nope! Doesn't help much and that's a bummer because now I'm only on my last move. And there is still a whole olive yet to be destroyed. This is just a horrible, horrible... Oh, you're right! There is that friendship bonus thing too! Oh, this is just horrible. Okay, I'm just gonna redeem it. But do I have enough moves to clear everything? I mean... Okay, I do need 10 megaphones. So hopefully this is more than enough. There we go. Whew, thank goodness. Ah, oh, if not that would be such a wasted 900 redemption. Okay, just for that 3 stars. Just for the 3 stars. Look at that. Not worth it, but still kind of worth it. I hope that makes sense. Anyway <laughs> guys, let's move along. Alright. Minchino. Okay, so we do have some mixing problems as well as the whipped cream. So I guess technically we should dig out all these. Oops, accidentally touch. 
luckily they changed the game mechanics where if you touch a single icon um, they won't count it if you quickly remove so that's not too bad now the thing is we do need to call out the red queens there we go so we have to pay close attention to that as well um, and of course let's try and dig out all the items hmm okay so can we try and clear out as many of the oh god what a waste Yeah, I was trying to clear as many of the acorns, popcorns as possible. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna dig this out. Dig it out. Oh god dang it. I really hate these kind of levels. Come on, come on up. Okay, can I get three of them? Yes, I can. Now, the only problem is this mixing canister. Oh god, okay. So as you can tell, I am horrible at levels like this. I'm just gonna flush my acorns down the drain once again. Another episode where I'm just recklessly spending my resources. Oh god, oh god, come on, come on, you got to be kidding me, can I just push this up? Is it easier to push up than to pull it down? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 this is horrible, ow, <laughs> I mean they're so close. Oh no, that's such an expensive level. Ah, this episode is turning out exactly like the last episode where I just recklessly spend all my acorns away just because I mess things up. Guys, do not follow this example. If you can afford the retry because your hearts are there, go ahead and retry the stage. I'm doing a YouTube video, so therefore, it does, you know, it, it, I don't want to keep replaying a level and then end up using all my hearts and then editing away the, 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 the tries and then waiting for the hearts to replenish. That kind of situation, no, if I can afford it, I'm going to pay for it just to entertain you guys. So yes, but for you guys, you have the leisure to play casually spend your acorns wisely and you should be fine all right so let's try this level i recall this one being pretty tricky okay let's go ahead and clear as much of the honey and now let's clear the, the bubbles and the tomatoes here all right let's clear away the chocolates here so we can set the tomatoes free and once those are free we gotta dig them out because they're gonna be stuck up there if we don't let's set these guys free so we can start pushing the tomatoes in there we go one more and we need to clear the score there we go simple as that so as long as you do things systematically for this level um, setting free the tomatoes in the middle lane and uh, then followed by the right the right innermost right lane you should be good bubble saw is very close to getting level 3 all right two more levels to go Let's keep going. Hopefully, we don't have to overspend once again. So, pumpkins. So, there are only two of them, so that's not too bad. Um, but the only problem is that the, the 
hair chop bottles are kind of like encased in those brown sugar coating that requires you know, skill destruction so gotta be very careful there we go might be a better choice to power up Plus's skill but who knows there we go Yeah, I think powering up Plusle's skill might be more advantageous. Alright, let's get the ketchup bottle if possible. Fantastic. Okay. We might have a problem right here. Considering that we haven't set most of the items free. So that is a bit worrying. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, yeah, so this level definitely needs a retry. And this is probably the only time that I have to cut out the retry factor because using 900 Econs at this point is not worth the effort so let me get to the editing. Okay so let's retry this level with the idea of powering up Plusle's skill um, you know so that we can get that full range of advantage. So there's a lot of Starly, so let's gather the Starly icons. Not enough. Let's make use of the snubble. There we go. We can finally power up puzzle skill. Fantastic, that's the range that we want. Alright. Making use of the puzzles to destroy the ketchup bottles. That wasn't enough. Okay, snubbles, here we go. Alright, so all the ketchup bottles are set free. Now we just have to either normally destroy them or use the skills. We do have plus skill to destroy the pumpkins. How in the world did one single pumpkin escape? Okay, so with this, yep, nicely placed megaphones. Thank goodness. <sighs> you wouldn't believe it. I didn't have to retry too many times. In fact, that was the <laughs> only try I had to do. Whew, thank goodness. Okay, so. Let's open up the gift and let's handle the very last order for this episode. Fossil and Fossil? No, Starly and Fossil. Oh boy. Okay, so this looks like it's going to require a bit of an RNG factor considering that Starly is randomizing its skills as well. So let's out as many caramels as possible okay yeah i think we should just go ahead and destroy as many chestnuts as possible so we can gather more space for icons there we go okay let's get togepi destroying as many of the caramels along the way fantastic so we do have a problem here because most of the stuff are kind of like separated. So we really really might need to rely on RNG right here. Ok, 
Can we push this one over? Hopefully a megaphone that summon is able to help us destroy that. Nope! Completely missed the mark. That is just horrible. Okay, so can we push it down? Oh no. Oh. Why did they have to make it so difficult? Okay, I'm gonna ignore that side for now. Maybe not. Can we push the chestnut down so that... Yeah, they... Oh! No! Megaphone, do your thing! Megaphone! No! <laughs> I missed one chestnut! See, this is what happens when a stage relies on RNG. But it's just... It's just exciting when it does, you know, come out in your favour. But if it doesn't, it's, it's just hilarious at the same time. So yes, another 900 acorns down the drain. Oh, there you go. And that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. What an episode once more. A lot of fumbles. A lot of uh, just unplanned, eh, <laughs> unplanned mishaps. Oh well, anyway guys, we have ooh, unlocked another reward and we are in second place now. Not bad for a single 10 stage run. You know, but you know, considering that everyone else is not really playing that hardcore right now because it's a reissue event. Uh, but still, I'm having fun, you know, trying to clear stages and playing the game with you guys. As usual guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. If you guys are still enjoying the game on your own casual terms, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, leave a like on this video if you appreciate the content. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed or are brand new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix sometime soon. Until then, bye!